All right, so welcome to the third video in the series on matrices, where I help you take over the world by learning matrices, right? So, we reach finding the inverse matrix. That's the topic we are doing today, hang tight. That symbol means A inverse. We read that as A inverse, and we are talking about finding the, A, the inverse matrix. So the matrix was called A, A inverse is that. Now some important stuff to know, some prerequisites for finding the inverse is one, the determinant of a matrix, being able to find the determinant of a matrix, and I'll explain that, and two, being able to find the adjoint matrix of a matrix. Right, so two terms, determinant, adjoint. The determinant is basically one number, a specific number that every matrix has. We can boil down that matrix to one number, right? And I'll explain that. And the adjoint is where we swap two numbers in the matrix and we swap some signs on the next two numbers. And I will, I will explain that as well. So let's go with the determinant first. Alright, so determinant, if A is equal to A, B, C, D, modulus of A or determinant of A is equal to a D minus B C. This is the formula for determinant. If A is equal to A B C D, that symbol here, also known as modulus, that symbol means determinant. It's just a different way of writing determinant. That is also a different way of writing determinant there. So the determinant of A is equal to A D minus B C. It means these two numbers here. Why isn't this right? Right. So A D is going to be multiplied by C D. Simple as that. Sorry. Ignore that. AD is going to be multiplied and we are going to subtract BC. Right? So we're going to multiply the two diagonals and subtract them from each other. Right. Let's see this in an example. Determinant examples A is 6 minus 2, 4, 1. B is 12, 2, 6, 1. Find the Determinant of A and determinant of B. It's just written in two different ways. One way here, one way there. I mean the same thing. First thing first, write the formula. Maths, physics, start of a statement, write the formula. You're walking down the beaten path. AD minus BC, it means this. That's too big. Let me go with this. 6 by 1, that's this diagonal. Multiply there and then take it away. 4 by negative 2 and you'll subtract there right so that's what we end up doing here 6 by 1 take away 4 by negative 2 got it and then you can go ahead and solve that 6 by 1 is 6 4 by negative 2 is negative 8 we'll have some negative signs bouncing up there boom switch that positive sign 14 if you get problems with negative numbers use your calculator Maybe we'll do a video on directed numbers to kind of clear up the negative number algebra because I know that's a Achilles heel for students. All right, to find the determinant of B, and we use this notation now, doesn't matter, same thing. Write the formula. Then it's going to be this diagonal. Take away this diagonal. Same thing, right? 12 by 1 subtract 6 by 2. So 12 by 1 take away 6 by 2. And this is going to work out to 12, take away 12, which is 0. That's a problem. Well, it's not really a problem, but it's to be noted that that determinant is 0. If the determinant is 0, you will not be able to find the inverse of that matrix. That matrix is forever alone, no inverse. And we can make note of that. If the determinant is equal to 0, a matrix is said to be singular, like some of you all. Singular. Right. So for a joint matrix... This is the next um, thing in the important steps, right? Important stuff to know first before you can find the inverse. They are joint if A is equal to A, B, C, D. A joint of A is equal to D minus B, C, A. That's the formula. So in this formula, we are switching around the A and the D. Whoop, whoop. And we are switching the signs on the B and the C. Cool, cool. Best seen in example. A joint 
matrix example. P is equal to 3, minus 1, 2, 0. Q is equal to 4, 3, minus 10, 2. Find the adjoint of P and Q. So you're going to find the adjoint of these matrix separately. First, write the formula. Yep. The adjoint of P is equal to D minus B, negative, well, D, negative B, negative C, A, right? Um, and we can clearly see that these two have been swapped because that's A and D being swapped and that negative sign there indicates that whatever sign was on those numbers needs to switch. Let's see what happens. So that's this, we are working out the adjoint for this matrix, right? Notice the 3 and the 0 swapped. 3 and the 0 is swapped. And now what happened here? This was negative 1, it goes to positive 1, we remove the negative sign. This has no negative sign, so it means it's positive. And he now goes to negative. Simple as that. So the adjoint is one of the easiest things in mathematics at your level that you can do. Adjoint of Q, swap wrong, 4 and 2. And switch the signs and these, the, these two numbers. Now notice how the adjoint is an actual matrix, but the determinant is just a single number. Keep that in mind. So we're ready now for the last bit of information, which is actually fine in the inverse. If A is equal to A, B, C, D, inverse of A or a inverse is equal to 1 on the determinant by the adjoint, 1 on the, over the determinant by the adjoint. So what does that say? To find the inverse of a matrix, just do 1 over the determinant, find the determinant separately, put it under 1, and multiply it by the adjoint matrix. Alright, so let's do an actual example. On finding the inverse, A is 12, 5, negative 3, negative 2. Find A inverse. Remember, determinant, adjoint, inverse. So firstly, we hit them with the determinant there. Work it out. Now remember, the determinant is the diagonals. Subtracting the diagonals, right? So it will be that, subtract that. 12 by negative, no, 12 by, yeah, negative 2, take away negative 3 by 5, and you'll get your answer, you notice you have two negative signs bonds, turn to a positive sign, work it out and you get negative 9. Feel free to use your calculator, because uh, negative 24 plus 15 is actually negative 9. Then what's next? Um, our joint is going to be next, right? So you find the joint of A, the joint of A is an actual matrix. Uh, where we swap around the A and the D, and then we switch the signs on the B and the C, right? Um, so, you can see we did that. 12 swapped with the negative 2. 5 changed to negative 5. Three change, negative 3 changed to just positive 3. And then inverse of A is 1 over the determinant by the adjoint. Notice the determinant. Gosh. Right, so yeah, the determinant was negative 9. That came underneath here. That's the denominator. So 1 over the determinant by this whole matrix here, which is here, by the adjoint. And uh, we already know, because we watched the previous video. By the way, why is it going back to watch the previous video? If you didn't, press subscribe, press like. Share with your friends, do the necessities, let them get the knowledge too. This is how you'll do this. If you have a fraction being multiplied by the matrix, just put everything over the denominator and multiply by the numerator. So everybody gets multi everybody gets a taste of that negative nine. Negative two over negative nine. Negative five over negative nine. I'm not seeing negatives are missing here, man. Alright, let's put them in. All right and 3 over negative 9 and 12 over negative 9. Now you'd notice that some, make it, some can simplify, this can simplify to 1 over negative 3, and this can simplify to 4 over negative 3. So, but it's best in matrices to leave them as fractions. Don't go into the realm of decimals, eh? Keep it as fractions. Um, it's better to work in fractions. And that's the end of it. You now know how to find the inverse. Go ahead and try some questions. 
and get ready for the fourth video which will be on which will be on simultaneous equations until then solving simultaneous equations in with matrices they're not linear simultaneous equations all right until then catch you around